too. Sorry for the interruption. Um, I just took everything out of the baggie. It's gonna go quicker like this. So I will just showed you I had sticker. Oh, sorry, scissors. Um, four colors in um, Hema neon gel pens, the white gel pen, the water brush. I have the Settler eraser. I have a Copic um, drawing pen. I really like it. Um, this glitter pen I just realized isn't really working. And I have just a few of my favorite colored pencils. Um, this one is uh, Prismacolor Scholar. This is Prismacolor Premier and this one is uh, Faber-Castell Polychromos in um, olive green. Um, in the meantime, while I was charging uh, my battery, I kind of scribbled something in my Midori passport size mini art journal thingy I'm using these days. I'm just gonna grab it very quickly. I don't know if you have noticed, but I was keeping it like uh, here. Um, I just tried some things out a few minutes ago and my glitter glue is still drying so I cannot close it, but I have, um, this is the only true Midori I have and I have purchased it after I had made a few of my Fodoris because I was still curious to see how the real thing was made how the letter was and all that stuff so I kind of ended up buying this one last summer um haven't really used it except for uh, the the trip I took in that summer because I had just I received it a few days before I left so it was not very heavy to carry around so I was like giving it a try um I didn't use it so much. I did make these two pages that I completely forgot about and I was really really happy to rediscover uh, two or three days ago because it was finally ended up being a souvenir from last vacation where we all had a stomach flu for three or four days and this is while we were waiting for a delayed flight at the airport so it kind of brings up back memories. Um, this is like um um, recipe for homemade rehydration <laughs> solution because we were really in a bad shape and we have to take it like every few minutes for a very long time. So now I kind of get why people do travel journals which I don't tend to make. I, I tend to consider my everyday life even the travel is not really interesting but when I do um, write something down or do draw something about a certain place or at a certain moment and when I uh, stumble upon it a while later it's kind of really nice so I think I will try and discipline myself to do it a little bit more often um, so inside I only have uh, the original notebook that came with it I just glued this little pocket on it I did get a laminator <laughs> and as you can see I'm laminating everything indeed. I made this little notebook with some extra Hobonichi papers because I was uh, I was in the mood for doing so <laughs> just because and um, I'm really bad at cutting laminated things I have like a guillotine cutter, I have a Fiskars cutter, you know, with those sliding little thing. But I end up moving everything. It's very slippery and, you know, when I was trying to catch up on my mistakes, like this one ended up being smaller than the passport size. But it's still working okay. I did a little art journal page here. I was trying out my in ink tanks blocks on, these pa on this paper, sorry. Why am I so out of breath and... I don't know. Sorry about that. And I really, 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 really love that. It works super well. So I think I'll be doing more of that. Um, 
and at the end I just have a little plastic bag and it goes all the way and I can slide it completely out and I'll show you so I can use it as a full length storage for uh, magazine clippings and things that I will be using in collages or uh, and also as a reference image see I just reinforced it in the middle with the washi tape to um, make sure it doesn't get too damaged with the um, uh, with the elastics. Okay, so what else do I have in here? I have this glue. It's not the most practical thing to carry around, but I really love it. it works super well, dries super fast, it has a precision tip and a broad tip on the other side, which I don't really use, the broad one. I think it took me a very long time to realize that this was actually removable and <laughs> there had another tip because I didn't have a need for it. And this does not really wrinkle the paper too much. It's it's quite dry actually for liquid glue. Um, inside I have a little baggie of um, my Neo Color. I want to say two from Karen Dash. But the thing is that in the shop they had like um, some of the Neo Color ones mixed up with the Neo Color twos, and I ended up getting a few of new color ones by mistake but it's okay I can still use them for resist or whatever um, my favorite colors that I don't have in ink in ink tents are fortunately water soluble so that works okay and I have this is my newest addition to any of my kits because it's a um, I'll show you inside I have my ink tank, ink tanks. Oh my god, I cannot pronounce that. Ink tanks blocks. Um, they're kind of cut in half or whatever I was able to get, so I could you know, split them in several kits and use them. And um, I got this idea from, huh, a lady who made our travel kits uh, that she's selling. I will try and find and link her below. She actually has like a magnetic removable refillable pens for watercolors. Um, did she also sell separately? Just depends. So I may get some of these someday. But what I thought I would do uh, is I ordered on eBay for very very cheap um, a business uh, card holder. Just kind of made out of aluminum I guess. And it looks exactly like what she used. And um, I thought it was really a cool idea because it's really, really thin and very, very portable. And as you can see, it fits these blocks perfectly. What else do I have in my kit? I have Stedler drawing pants, sketching. I love them. I've seen them in... Um, they go from uh, HB to 8B. HB to 8B. And I've seen them in several um, art related videos. And I didn't get why people like them so much. I still wanted to give them a try because I'm very curious like that. But oh my god, I love them. It's something about their weight and their shape and how they lay in your hand. They are really super enjoyable. I don't know how else to put it. And I don't think it can be explained in words unless you're really a specialist and you exactly know why you like them. I just adore them. And I don't know why, but I can recommend them. Uh, okay, Stadler, Mars Lumograph 100, sketching, drawing. And you have these types of hardnesses. I think they have them in harder types as well, harder sets. I don't know. I'm using also this um, glue runner, I guess, a pencil sharpener, a little sta stapler, my favorite glitter glue, the only one I actually like, because I just love these colors, and I have some uh, double-sided sticky tape in case I want to use it like to make my own stickers or whatever. So that's about it. Is this dry? No, it's not dry yet. But anyhow, you probably saw in the beginning of the first video because 
before it got cut out uh, because of the battery um, that this just lays on top of everything and it holds everything I wish I could put some Copic markers inside I'm probably going to make a one notebook for uh, with a, a layout marker paper because I'm really I really miss working with them but I don't know how I would fit anything more inside here I just I guess I would need another one of these but I won't I will try to be a little bit more serious and just use what I already have okay I hope this gave somebody some inspiration and I hope to see you soon bye bye